So what is up with this hair, right? I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. In fact, some of you have asked me, are you going gray? And the answer is yes. And going gray can actually be sexy. So today on the freedom strategy, I am going to talk about what is perhaps the greatest freedom of them all, other than our own personal freedom. And that is allowing yourself to go gray and being okay with it. So I've got three tips I'm going to share with you on how to go gray and still be sexy. So just for a minute, I want to talk about the overarching theme of sexiness. I'll tell you a story. And before I tell the story, I will tell you that my mother honestly is like my number one fan. So take it with a grain of salt. When she told me back in my 20s, she used to tell me, well, one thing's for sure, your sister got all the sex appeal and you didn't get any of it. I know that sounds kind of harsh, but in all honesty, it was pretty true. I mean, oh my God, my sister would walk down the street and guys would just like fall all over themselves and I could walk down the street, I could be naked and nobody even looked. And that actually was true. It's just kind of the way it was. But as I grew up, I started to kind of figure out what actually is sexy. And I can sum it up in one word, confidence. I think if you ask most men, uh, and frankly, most anybody you know, what is sexy? And the answer is confidence. I've heard men say it, I've heard women say it. Uh, I think it's universally true, all right? So let's jump forward 20 years and now, we're talking about gray hair. Now, I do think so many of us have been trapped by coloring our hair for years and years and years. And now as we move forward to the next phase of our life where we are trying to find the ultimate freedom, letting go of the dye could be the best thing that you do. You know, my dad went fully gray in his early 20s. So this is something that I have been dealing with for well over 20 years. And the truth is I just got tired of it. It really starts to control your life when you have to worry about coloring your hair. I know I have a party and I wanna make sure my hair looks good. And then you're scheduling appointments around your social life. And you know, it just gets to be too much. And then I thought, well, okay, I'll just color it myself. Well, the truth is that's a big pain in the butt. And frankly, it's very time consuming. And you know me by now at the Freedom Strategy, I'm all about freeing up my time in order to do things I want to do. And frankly, coloring my hair is not one of those things. So I made the decision about six months ago that I was going to stop coloring my hair. And it's not a little deal. In fact, it's kind of a big deal. Now, the good news is in today's world, actually going gray is kind of in fashion right now. Uh, thanks to some really popular YouTubers, Nicole Johnson is one, Monique Parent is one, and they honestly have taken going gray to the next level and they have turned it into sexy. And in fact, I bet they are part of the reason that Gray hair was actually the color of 2018. So I think they're onto something, or at least they started something. And thank God for that. So yes, I sat my husband down and I said, hey, guess what, honey? I'm gonna go gray. And he kind of looked at me like I was crazy. And I get it, I understood it, but supportive as he always is, he said, do what you want. And so I'm doing what I want. And you know what's funny is, Despite all of the negative naysayers, you can't do that, you shouldn't do that. Even my husband's kind of look like, oh my God, I hope she doesn't do that. The truth is, since I started letting my hair go gray, I have had more compliments on my hair in the last six months than I have in like the previous five years. I don't know why that is, but it is. And I do know it looks kind of dorky right now, right? It's like this little, gray blonde ombre thing. But if you rock the ombre with confidence, it can be sexy. All right, let's get to those tips. The first and most important tip is make this decision for yourself. Do not listen to all the naysayers. They will probably be wrong in the end. So you really have to do this for yourself. In fact, it's the only way you're going to be able to follow through on this long road to gray. Number two is don't let everything else about you go. You know, just because you're going great doesn't mean you should give up on everything and only wear baggy, horrible clothes and never put on a stitch of makeup. I mean, if that's your style and you love it, that's fantastic, just stick with it. You know, if you've been one that's been coloring your hair, you probably at least care about your looks enough to really pay attention to some of those other things. So don't let it all go at the same time. And the third tip about allowing yourself to go gray is 
actually cut your hair as short as you are comfortable going where you still feel confident about your hairstyle. When I started going gray, my hair was down to about here. And once I started going gray, I thought, man, I have got to speed up this process. And the best way for me to do it was to cut it. And I cut it to a length right about here that I still felt comfortable. I still felt sexy. I still felt attractive. If I had gotten super short, even though I have had super short hair before, I probably wouldn't have been as comfortable with that decision. So you need to make that decision for yourself. How short are you willing to go? And go that short because then the grow out phase will be faster. So I applaud you in your decision to go gray, whether you're just thinking about it or you're well on your way, or maybe you're already done with that process, please put a comment below. I would love to hear about your process and how it has gone for you. I can tell you that for myself, now that I am six-ish months into it, I'm actually pretty good with the decision. And I think it's that confidence that I have in this decision that has actually had people now start to tell me how great my hair looks, even though it does kind of look ridiculous right now. But it'll get there, I as well on its way, and I really do believe it might be the very, very biggest step I have made to freedom for my future. And that is what we are all about here on The Freedom Strategy. I am here to help you live your life, your dreams, your way. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're interested in more information on how to achieve the life that you have always wanted. And I'll be here.